This video is to describe how to sign a document using Adobe Reader. It's a PDF document that we have to sign. We've received a document and it's in PDF format and if you click that open it'll likely open up in Adobe Reader uh, because you probably have already downloaded that on your computer but maybe you haven't. If you need to download Adobe Reader just uh, go in and, and type in Adobe Reader latest version and it will um, identify the latest version for your system and you download it and install it on your computer just like you would install any other program. I already have it installed so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this document. It's called Document for Signing PDF. And that's a document that somebody sent me and asked me to sign. It might be a contract, it might be an approval form, or something of that nature. I created this document for this video. So it says, please sign on the line below. Well, how do I get my signature on this PDF document? I've opened it up, I'm in Adobe Reader, but i got to sign it here. So if you look over at the right hand side, you'll see a little sign thing. You click that and you see this column opens up here. There's a number of things that I can do now with this column. I can add text. So let me add text. And the add text, notice the cursor has changed and in the text I'm going to put in my name. And it might be whatever. So I'll put in my name here and so now I want to uh, place my signature on the uh, on the form. So if you click the down uh, the uh, drop down menu you'll have an option to create a new signature or to change your save signature. I've already created my signature but uh, uh, it's quite simple. You can either type your signature and I can create a typed signature. I can use draw my signature. I can use an image or I can use a certificate. So I'm going to enter my name here. Don Main. Now maybe I don't like that type so I can change the signature style. I can change it to four different styles. And if, uh, if I choose to accept that I will then place it in here. Or I can use a image, uh, or I can use a certificate. So let's use a certificate, and let's see what happens here. They know my name on this program, and so it's going to ask me to drag a signature um, rectangle. Well, let me get this out of the way, and we will create a signature rectangle. By clicking down, I'm dragging it, and I'm creating this rectangle right on the right spot where they want me to sign it. And sure enough, there's my certified uh, digitally signed signature. And I say I will accept that. And should we lock the document after signing? No, we're just going to sign it. And I need a password. Well, I've already created a password. And so I'll insert the password here and I click sign and I am going to save this document and I I've replaced it and there's the document signed so I can now get out of the document and now let's have a look at what the document looks like as I open it up again sure enough I open it up and it now has my di digital signature. Um, that can be, it's valid, uh, it hasn't been modified since the signature was applied, and the document is signed by the current user. So that's it. Uh, you have now created a document with your digital signature on it. That's the end of this video.